Hello MechWarriors, how is it going? And welcome to another episode of MechWarrior 5 Mercenaries Heroes of the Inner Sphere. Today guys, we are playing the King Crab again, because a lot of you guys wanted to see how I'm doing with rifles, and I actually wanted to give it a shot as well. Get it? I want to... Anyway. Um, we are already in an industrial hub, and I quickly want to take a look at the barracks, seeing that there is nobody here that I really want, but I want to see if there is anything else that I want to pick up. Um, definitely not the Highlander, definitely not the King Crab. I mean, I love King Crabs, they're real cool mechs. But, uh, right now I think we are good with all the hero mechs that we have. So let's take a look at the equipment. And ideally, we're gonna find something like a rifle, as I was saying here. That's a pretty good medium laser short burst. Hmm. Do I wanna pick him up? I think I want to. Alright. So, apart from that, SRM2s, SRM4s, there is nothing like a double heatsink anymore. A mask. Yeah, great. No. <laughs> I don't need it right now. So, uh, yeah, there's nothing really here. What we're going to be doing is, um, for the build that I have in mind, I need some double heat sinks. And the uh, Warhammer currently has some that I can just plug out of here. But damn, I need two here. We're going to replace it with singles so that the AI pilot, if they're ever using that Black Widow, can deal with that just fine. And I think to remember that... Um, those were not really uh, that big of a deal anyway, in terms of heat management on the Widow. We will definitely repair the Corsair and the Atlas as it stands, Stalker as well. And now we're gonna take a look at the Crabbo, that's gonna be great. By the way, you could always, you could always mix and match uh, the build to your liking. Currently I'm going uh, with the same weapon system, which is, I would say, very efficient, because you only have to care about one or two ammo types here, with uh, SRMs and the Ultra 5s, and of course we're gonna replace them with all rifles. But the rifles have a big drawback, and that is a rate of fire that is abysmal. Like, it's really bad. It's absolutely, absolutely awful. And uh, therefore, you can just take two rifles and have two other autocannons so that you can keep up the DPS. It requires you to, again, uh, refine the build a bit more and um, actually manage more weapon systems uh, on the battlefield, but it's definitely possible. Anyway, for the sake of a showcase here, we're gonna go all rifles, and I want to keep my SRMs, ideally. Two tons of ammo is fine, but we have to put it somewhere else in order to get it done here. Ultra 5 goes, and we're gonna take heavy rifle ammo. Actually, the two... Yeah, we need to leave room here for the two double heat sinks that are coming. So, again... Uh, oh, wait. I want that over here. And then I want another heavy rifle ammo here on the arm. So we have two slots open for the double heat sinks that are coming out of the Black Widow in a second. And that's gonna be our build. What we definitely need is, uh, is cooling here. We definitely need any cooling abilities that we can get. Uh, this is energy cooldown, missile spread, laser duration, energy damage, missile range. I think we have everything we can get already. My missile heat, I don't care about that, it's 2.5%. Torso twist speed is nice. Um, I think I want to take it, actually. Sure, we're gonna add torso twist speed as well. Alrighty, so we have enough money, we have a build, and we're gonna bring it to the battlefield. So let's see, we can play two war zones. That would be interesting, I guess. That would be multi-mission operation. There's also a cantina here. Hmm. I'm gonna take the two war zones. They are pretty good mission types. I really like them. And uh, we gotta keep in mind, after we are coming back, quick refit, the two double heat sinks that are coming out of the Black Widow need to be put in our King Crab in order to make the build. Huh. I wanted to say good, but it's not good. It's not really a build to my liking. But y you can see, guys. You will see. It's, it's crazy. That's what it is. Ah, so you need to uh, wait a little longer, therefore we're gonna advance the timeline to the King Crab. Thank you very much. The upgrade refit? Sure, you know what? I have the 15 days. I don't wanna come back to that screen and uh, waste more time. So here we go, we're gonna put one double, two doubles. We now got a total of six double heat sinks, we got two tons of SRM ammo, and then seven tons of heavy rifle ammo. I hope it's enough. By the way, heavy rifles? Let me quickly talk about them. They only weigh 8 tons and are medium size. So that is a definite benefit. They are pretty light for those huge autocannons because they deal 20 damage, at the very least the high tier ones. Which means they are kind of on par with an autocannon 20. Their rate of fire is again garbage, only 7 rounds per minute. The thing is, the heat. They have an 8.5 heat build up and that's the tier 4. So when you compare that to... Let's take an autocannon 20. Uh, do we have one? AC 20. AC2? Seems like we don't. Ah! Okay. Hmm. Alright. Can we get one on the market? No, I want to show you 20! Ah, oh, damn it. Alright, we cannot do it. Um, but anyway, uh, it's, it's 8.5 heat, and 
the thing is, it has a maximum range of 759 meters. So you better engage early and often with it. Because, uh, again, every shot counts on those things. And uh, you better want to destroy your enemies before they arrive. Because you have a very low rate of fire. So we're going to start to work here. Oh yeah, guys, uh, remember remember the 8.5 heat? This here is 5.7 on an autocannon 20. That is so much less. And that thing shoots 13 rounds per minute. So it basically has the double, double the rate of fire, double the cadence. But it also weighs more and only has a max range of 280 meters. That's a tier 2 here. So let's take a look at the contracts. I definitely want to play the war zone. And since we are friends with Davions, I would say we're going to take like three Arty Strikes. The rest is salvage. And this is going to be our lands. And I'm super duper excited. 58, 51, 55. Didn't we get a tier 60 pilot? Why are you not in here? You were probably uh, injured earlier or so. I don't know. Uh, 56. No, no, you're pretty good. 41, 43 skill level. I think we just need to find some more 60 pilots uh, to actually get it done. And this is how we roll here. Correct? Correct. Let's go. 10 days for mission start. <laughs> so... Again, the idea is that we're going to use our King Cram to just blast the enemies apart, ideally with a one-shot, before they can come into their optimal fighting distance. And uh, then we're going to wait about 10 seconds, <laughs> and then we're going to shoot again. <laughs> 10 <Attention>. seconds. <laughs> it is crazy. Oh, it's kind of like 9-ish, but still. It's just insane. Reactor online. online. Sensors, Sensors online. online. Yep. Weapons online. All systems nominal. So I we definitely need a full. Yeah, that's how we play it. We need a full alpha strike weapon group, and then we need a chain fire group, and then I want my arms individually. So let's do it. Is on here we go. The lerms are already flying. The I'm super excited here. Oh god. By the way, twist speed is not really that significant. That upgrade didn't feel relevant, really. But okay. Cool thing here is, by the way, we have a high ground situation. Um, that's pretty good. And I think I'm going to trigger the base already, so we have a little bit of uh, pressure on us. While my friends are going over and trying to kill those guys with the LRMs. Yeah. That's okay. Yeah, you can deal with that. And we're gonna take that thing here. Hmm, maybe it's another double heat sink. Alright, I'm here, Rihanna. We got it. Now tell me what's inside. Cool, cool, cool. We got 6,300 sea bills and a PPC level 3. Blam! And that's what we do! <laughs> this is just insane! It's just the you are a dead button that we have. It, it's just an insane amount of damage pinpoint at very long range. So it's it's crazy when you can take your time between your shots like I'm doing right now. It is just just glorious. Yeah, good shot. So we're gonna take the high ground, get a good overview of the battlefield, and then we're gonna see what's coming. This mech is not really good at shooting down flyers, by the way. Okay, there's a wolfy coming. That's a Jenner. Oh god. Alright, let's go. Nope. Yes. Yes. Alright. Oh, wait. Come on! Ah, let's go with the missiles. See, that's the thing. You better hit your thing, otherwise you are... You have to reload and wait and all of that. Uh, by the way, Jenner... That didn't kill? I, I'm pretty sure we hit, right? Alright, we got that. Where's the Wolverine? Did we get the Wolverine already with long range? Maybe the Gauss dude has killed him already. I don't know. Maybe he's completely stuck behind that rock and doesn't know how to come here. You must have really oh, no, nope, there he is. Alright. So what's our range? 700 meters? Yeah, that's fine. Ugh, another one of those. He comes to Wolvi, but I'm fine waiting for him. I think I want to get those guys here. What are you shooting? All right, we'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. That is a miss! That Shadowhawk was gliding around like crazy. Interesting. All right, we're gonna take that. 
Heavy rifles are reloaded, so we better get him on point. That is so good, look at him! <laughs> Almost down though, not quite, not quite. Nice kill though. Alright, we're ready. Boom! <laughs> Alright, he's cored. And that was not enough. That was not enough to kill. And here you can see, this thing is hot like crazy. I think in a brawl scenario, we better just shoot those missiles, huh? And rely on our friends to deal the remaining damage. Yeah, he is down, basically. He's gonna eject now, since he has no weapon systems anymore. What is my heat threshold? Where can I fire my my rifles again? I think 50%? Alright, let's go over here. No, not quite! Alright, we got it, but... See, that's the problem. We cannot even kill reliably with those. I mean, they kick like a mule. That's absolutely crazy. By the way, there's another thing to get. Alright, I'm gonna try to take it. Uh, guys, follow me! I need you! Where I'm going? Ah! So, they bring assault mags now. They also have a panther on the flank. Alright, we'll take that real quick. Pow! And now we're gonna go for the panther if he's coming around the corner. Is he, though? Is he? There he is. He turned around! Damn it! So again, wasted shot. Wait 10 seconds, then we can engage again. <laughs> Let's go for the stalker. Hmm, side torso. Alright, that's the side torso gone at the very least. Alright, we're gonna keep brawling him. I will shut down if I do it right. If I shoot my rifles now. So, side is down. Boom! Nope. Alright. <laughs> Took his side torso big time. Man, that thing. We need better rifles. We definitely need better rifles. It's a it's a fun thing to do here. We had to. There was no way around it. And I'll take the shutdown. It's fine. Alright. Wake up. Again, this mech is there for cracking up enemy armor. Not really for hunting down vehicles or smaller targets, because... Those, those guns, they, they just have obliterating damage. Mm, three, two, one, go. Alpha one, one. This All is right. Sierra two, one. Acknowledging right There's a spider powder. coming up. For the kill. Sierra two, one, out. Ah, we hit the Centurion. Oh, they are dodging it. Are they? I don't know. There was only two of them. We're gonna shoot one more. And we are hot again. So it's missile time. Alright, we got that guy. I'm also stuck, which is not great. Are you going for this guy? Screw it! Boom! No! Didn't quite get him! <laughs> again, those calculated overheats in a fighting scenario like that, maybe not the best idea. Alright, spiders on my tail. Not for long, though. So here you can see why I'm not a fan of the rifles. <laughs> it is, again, crazy damage output, but not really all the time. All right, so he's lagged. Come around the corner, please. So I've lost a component. You lost everything, buddy. Every freaking thing. Uh, all right, rifleman. All right, got him. And now it's the Wolvie. It's actually the last target here. After that, we can go home and repair. So we're gonna take him. By the way, what happened to my Corsair? Why did you... Oh, no. <laughs> my beautiful Corsair. No, you lost it, buddy. Lost the Gauss rifles. Look at this guy. He's almost down. Man. What, what happened here? Was it me? I didn't do a stray shot against him, right? Uh, we gotta go home here. We're gonna play another mission. Oh, yo, guys, follow me. Don't, don't you dare engaging there. No, 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 it's not allowed. Uh, I actually sent you right over here. Yeah, I'm gonna send them the uh, the attack command. If anything comes close now and tries to backstab us, I'm gonna turn around and try to attract fire. In fact, I will do it right away. So I'm cover I'm gonna cover our retreat, walking backwards. Did I, did I stray shot him? No. 
No, I didn't, right? That would be the worst. And in fact, I don't even need to cover our retreat. Alright. Oh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. So, Trebuchet. Yeah. Yeah. Not the best. Not the best. Trebuchet. Boom. I mean, side torso is down. Ooh. All right. So, heavy rifles, everybody. That's the thing. That's how they, they play. That's how they work. They are, again, light weapons, lighter weapons. But the ability to only fire every new moon is not really helping out on a battlefield scenario like that. So you better kill fast, you better be accurate, you better hit your target. And if you miss once, that's a big penalty. A huge penalty. That's a nice autocannon 20, that's a nice ERPPC, and we got some sea bulls. I was wondering if we had shot the Warhammer, but we just shot through his center. And almost threw it the back as well. What? Why is he damaged on the back? <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, we need some money again, and we need Gauss rifles again. I think we lost all of them. I don't know if we have one or two. All right, those large lasers are pretty good. I'll take them. Anything else? <laughs> Single heat sinks? No. Uh, that means I'm gonna take some quick money, and that is this year. Actually, this is only 20 salvages, uh, salvage shares. That is. And then we have what? Seven more. Alright, I'll take an autocannon 10, and I will take an LRM, nope, uh, an autocannon 5 burst fire. Nope, it's still too much. An LRM 10, there we go. So we lost a significant amount of good salvage on the Corsair. Let me take a look at it. I don't really want to, but... Yeah. Hello? Oh, that hurts. That hurts so much. A Gauss tier 5 and a tier 4. Gone. Because of AI stupidity. Uh, let's not say stupidity. I mean, they, they were trying their best to help me out, I guess. But yeah. So, do I rebuild here? The answer is nope. I will not do that. I will repair my Atlas. I will repair my King Crab. And I will repair the Stalker. And we are, gonna, we are going to dive into a second mission. Because I want to give you another chance to see what is going on here. And we probably have to just put another mech on the battlefield. Alright, so next contract. It's another war zone. We can play Beachhead, but we are too slow for it. Nah, never mind. I'm gonna play Warzone. I will take two of these Arty Strikes and a very little bit of Salvage. The weather's really kicking up, Commander. And you're definitely not gonna take that guy. What else do we have? We have another Stalker. I think I'm okay with bringing either Stalkers or Orions to the table here. Oh, no, the Stalker is really good. It's very well equipped, so we're gonna take him. Okay, ready up everybody, 73 days to repair. Wait, it was my king crab? Okay, acid rain, low visibility, reducing sensors and energy weapon effectiveness. Yeah, w <laughs> whatever, we have the rifles. Those are not energy based, they are, I don't know, explosion based. Okay, let's do it. I think the next build that I want to check out on the King Crab, because I was saying that, you know, I have uh, multiple in mind, is a, an Auto Cannon 10 build, or an LB10 build, something like that. Because I think you have a great rate of fire with those, and the uh, damage output is amazing. And, and you will see that you can crack open enemies kind of quickly with that. So, just because you have good pinpoint and rate of fire. With four Auto Cannon 10s or LB10s, it's, it's really good. And I'm not gonna take the Burst Fire ones, although they are more fun because they are louder and you have a, you know higher rate of fire and and you know shoot more projectiles but i try to be efficient with them so let's see but there's always safety in numbers in a combat zone we should do what we can to help them out okay they will make earning our combat bonus all yeah that's what i want to see get some missiles on the board here nice and we got two airstrikes Playing in a big base like that could actually mean that our airstrikes have great value because the enemies cannot maneuver out of it. But for that, we need to be in a good spot. So let's get into the base. Try to help the allies. But all of them are dead already. Never mind. Uh-oh. So no allies. We are all on our own. Scorpion. There was a Manticore, right? Okay. 
mercenary forces. Hmm. So one scorpion on the right side, Manticore and Hunchback here. Kill shot. That was a headshot. And that was a kill shot. <laughs> okay, that works. Where's the Scorp? Hey Scorp. I know that you are here. Oh, there you are. Alrighty. Um, do I destroy the wall to make it big? Yeah, I'll do. Actually. Alright. So here we go. We end the base. And we're gonna wait for those guys. At the same time, I'm just realizing that it's maybe not a best idea to have our LRMs in the base here. Maybe, I don't know. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Can we go for headshots here? We might go for headshots here. Oh, there's a... Oh, God, there's a thing. Come on. SRMs here. Big kills. Nice. Alrighty. Centurion. Headshot. Boom. Nah, that was center. But anyway. Critical. Let's go. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. A battle master, a Vulcan, a Jenner. We should probably get the high ground quickly. Can I hit this? Guns up. Ah, no. Nah, I should not do it. I should not do it. I should go for the guys in the back to kill them before they arrive. So let's go. Uh-huh, center torso. Good hits here. You, you can deal with them, no problem. Uh, boom! These overrides or these shutdowns will happen all the time, by the way. This is again all calculated because I just want to get him off the battlefield. Alright. Man, the heat on this. Actually, should we go? I want to. There's a stalker in the way, though. I shouldn't. Oh! Ah, low mounts are low. Uh, Alright. Hmm. Sure. Why not? Let's go for it. In a, hmm, I wonder, I wonder, in a case like that, should I go Alpha Strike and shoot the missiles as well? Nice. Our shutdown time will be longer because of it. Alright, here we go. Got it. It's a toasty build. Are we done with this wave? Yes, we are. Alright. Bring me the next ones, please. Serve them on a platter for me to kill. Uh, a thousand meters away. Oh, dropship coming in. Alpha one one. All right, this is I'm gonna deal with the max first. No, no, we're gonna deal with the Igors definitely. Some quick kills here. I don't, I don't see, I don't see anything here. I can only shoot on sensors right now. All right, we gotta take that thunderbolt out. Oh, oh. Actually, I'm gonna leave the Thunderbolt for my friends. I'm gonna go for the hammer. That was not a good shot. The moment I fired, I was like, yep, yeah, that's not gonna hit center. Uh huh. There we go. Down he goes. I mean, they are kind of falling like flies, but I think I like my Gauss PPC build on the Corsair better. But it's sadly destroyed. Oh. Alright, King Crab, wake up. And cool down. You know what to do. Oh, a mech on our list. That's good. That's really good. So we gotta maneuver around. Huh. Alright, the Phoenix Hawk is coming up the hill in a second. It's kind of funny that we're not really hitting our missiles so far. Huh. You guys gotta keep the locks if you wanna hit him. Oh no. Ah, actually. We grazed him. I was like, nope, that's not gonna hit. Uh, the missiles are actually building up a good chunk of heat as well. Hmm. So. Yeah, we had to kill that Phoenix Hawk as a, as a contract. That is an awesome. Now we are also hitting the missiles. There it comes. Uh, yeah, Atlas, that's a good idea. Dancing in front of me while I try to align my shot. Where would you go now, buddy? Come on. Choose a side. We got him. Alright. 
threading the needle here between my friends. Oh, God. <laughs> System offline. We got him, though. We got him. And the last guy is behind the wall. And then I think... Uh, I mean, we could stay a little longer. Nah, we are not. My stalkers are actually getting a good chunk of damage already. I don't like it. Let's uh, let's try to flank here. Ah, oh, never mind. Let's try to just get through it. Uh-huh, uh-huh, hunchback. Come on over here. Come on. There you are. Boom! Not anymore! <laughs> I mean, it is fun. Not really made for a prolonged contact, but... Can just do that, and then that. Ah, let me out of here. Wake up. Another derp ship coming down. Uh oh. I should not shoot my weapons. There we go. So, the last engagement here, the last encounter before we go home. What do we bring? What do they bring? That, I needed to do that. I mean, that Warhammer showing me his back? Sure, I'll take it. I'll take it every day. Now we need to cool again. It's a Wolby. I hit Santa, but I need my friends to finish him. Yep. Oh god, wake up! No, oh crap! Ah! We are in spectator mode, guys. Uh-oh. Let's get out of here. <laughs> oh, what a crazy, crazy thing to do. Shutting down in front of your enemies. Not a good idea. If you're a little bit further away, then yes, maybe, but... Alright, you're converting over here. I think we hit him, but not properly. Did we fight him to death? Yeah, let's go. Okay, crap. Give me an angle, Mr. Stalker. There we go. Got him. So, it is a sequence between... Shutting down, powering up, shutting down, powering up, alpha striking. By the way, chain fire is not an option here. Not really. Definitely not. Because, I mean, when you're running heavy rifles, you want to have the big impact pinpoint, right? That would be chain fire. It is manageable. Let's get you out of there, Commander. But Stand it's on. not really my thing. So, here we are. Stalker is damaged, the other stalker as well. The Atlas, not so much. Hmm, what does it tell us? We probably need to go and build another Atlas, I guess? So that it is a bit more aggressive, it pumps out a bit more DPS, and um, as a result it tracks a bit more fire compared to your friends. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Alright guys, back to the King Crab, back to the drawing board. We're gonna add some auto cannons now. Hmm, while we are at it. I'll take some auto cannons. I will take that. We have 8 LRM-10 tier 4. I'll take another laser, that's good. The stream version? Why not? Medium laser tier 4 could also be a thing. So, one more. I'll take a jump jet. And that's what we're gonna take. Alright. Cool, cool, cool. 1200 damage though. <laughs> nice. So, guys, we got some money. Let's go ahead and take a look at another star system. Should we go over here to the rare mech? Why not? Let's do it. I'm gonna repair and refit in the industrial hub. I wanna get my Corsair up and running again. Oh man, sadly again, it was wrecked a little bit. But I have two Gauss rifles that I can slap on the mech and, you know, have a good time with it again. Actually, I have a pretty good Gauss on the rifleman as well. So we have a Battlemaster 1P with EW countermeasures and an EW Active Pro. It brings... Four medium energy hardpoints, one small missile hardpoint, two small ballistic, and one large. I don't believe in the 1P. Not really. We have another one here, in worse condition. That's funny. And then the Marauder and the Centurion. Alright. Still no. Oh, actually, there's a tier 60 pilot. Nice. Welcome to the crew. Let's take a look at equipment. Those are four burst fire tier 4. I mean, I got to pick him up. I have to. What else do we have? Da -da -da -da. SRM2s, no thank you. Uh, active probes, sure. No, this is what we're gonna be doing now. 
So let's take a look at actually the mech market because I need to get rid of some of my mechs to get some, you know, 10 million sea bills again. I think this is where I want to be. I will sell the Hunchback for P. Goodbye, Hunchback. I will quickly sell some Jenners. Do we even need to go that high? Let's see how much it takes to repair our mechs and refit them. <sighs> Just LRMs on the Atlas. I mean, it's running an AC-20 burst fire. It's fine. This is gonna be refit in a sec. And we need to repair here. So, Gauss down. And we're gonna bring another Gauss rifle or two, because we have two. And then one more... One more single heat sink. Have fun with that. Where's my Gauss? Alright. Repair all. I wanted to do that. Boom. Um, and I guess we're gonna leave the mech as it is. I know some people are screaming in the comment section that I should put ERPPCs on this guy. And then now I have two. Um, at the same time, those are really good here. They have a max range of 1100 meters. This is 1700. I mean, they can engage earlier with that. Alright. I give in. You win, guys. So take that double PPC build, double ER PPC build, and have a good time. I'm gonna give this to an AI pilot, though. Alright, so now we're gonna take a look at the King Crab. I wanna show you another build option. Drop those heavy rifles. They were fun, as long as they lasted. Heavy rifle ammo can go. Alright. Now, with a build like that, with a build like I'm, sh I'm about to show you now, we actually have to drop those SRMs, sadly. Um, question is, do we have LBX autocannons? We have two solid slugs. That's 11 ton, 10 damage, 26 rounds per minute, 500 meters. We're gonna compare them to AC-10s. 12 damage, 23 rounds per minute, max range 517. The LBXs are slightly faster, which is a bit of a problem, honestly, because I want my weapons to fire at the same speed, so I don't have to do... Uh, so all of them are, you know, hitting at the same spot. That means I cannot really run LBXs yet. Not all of them at the very least. We need to find some more. But what I can do is this. We have to again drop our SRM sadly in order to get this done. Uh, we don't need those doubles and the rest is just ammunition. Yep. And again, ideally those would be LBXs, they will save you another ton per gun, and uh, this way you are absolutely fine. Actually, do we need any cooling? I think we don't. So we'll do it exactly like that, having enough ammo, and I mean the rate of fire is pretty good. We should have enough DPS to actually get things done with this. And again, LBXs save you 4 tons, with the 4 tons you, you can, I don't know, drop another auto cannon ammo, take... Two SRM4s and one ton of SRM ammo, something like that. It is definitely doable. But here we go. Auto cannons instead of those, you know, things. Those rifles. <laughs> Alright, let's take a look at the star map. Where do we want to go? I honestly like Warzone missions. I'm a big fan of them. Defense contract would be nice. Demolition contract, multi-mission. Assassination would be also a pretty good one. Um, there's a beach hat, let me think. Uh ba 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 ba. You know what, we're gonna take a look at the assassination mission, just to mix it up a little bit. Why the hell not? There would be a little bit more moving included. Ah, oh, but it could be a big map. I I'm gonna decide on the size of the map, okay? If it's just... If it's something at about 10 kilometers or square kilometers, I will take it. If it's beyond that, I will not take it, and we're gonna go Warzone instead. Yeah, that's 14. Not gonna happen. This is a lot of movement without purpose. I'm gonna go over here. <laughs> <laughs> Take the other contract. And I mean, war zones are really nice to test out some builds because the enemies will just come towards you. They will just, you know, get to you and um, you just need to defend and you need to, you know, brace yourself. You don't have to maneuver that much. There's also a cantina here. Kill harasser for superchargers and reputation. Kill missile carrier for narc and single heat sinks. Kill manticore for a PPC tier 5 and a double heat sink. Sure, I'll take that. Missile carriers, hmm. Four harassers is easy. I'll take that. Alright. So, uh, we're gonna take a look. Actually, we're gonna take a look at the mech market. Nope, at the equipment market, because we have a black market here. I wanna see if there's something good here. It doesn't seem like it, though. 
I'm just looking at the high tier ones, and those are not the ones that I want right now. So, that means we're gonna play the Warzone in a hot environment. Oh, maybe I should get some cooling on my mech. Maybe. Let's take two Audi Strikes. Alright, we'll see how this goes. 370, 370 tons, we have 44 days for the refit. And that's what we're going to be doing. By the way, uh, don't worry about money here. At this point of the game, I am I am just uh, messing around with builds and having a good time. And uh, I'm not trying to play it super efficiently. I was not even playing it, like, super efficiently the whole game. Because, honestly, that's one of the big flaws of the games. You don't need to. You really don't need to play it the, the max with the maximum efficiency. Unless you want to buy every mech in this game. You can see my storage is full of mechs that I'm just taking and, you know, selling. There's a cycle of, um, of economy at some point where you just don't care anymore. Where you, you really just don't care. Your storage will fill up so quickly and um, kind of makes it rather easy and not challenging. At, at the very least for me, I don't want to be condescending, but it feels Attention. like there's no real... The progression of the game. I would say the progression of the game feels bad because of that. Because um, you get the things too quickly, too easily. And uh, therefore, finding that tier 4 laser, finally, after playing for so long, doesn't really feel rewarding. That's what I mean. Okay, we got 280 shots. I wonder if cooling is enough here. We should do what we can to help them out. Yeah, let's they go. will make earning our combat bonus all the easier the longer they stay in the fight. Sure, Rihanna, let's go for it. Airstrike support has been granted, Commander. So we have four, no, five enemies here on the board. And again, it's a hot environment. Let's see if we are actually shutting down this mech. And it seems to be some kind of military base that we have again. All right, let's go for it. I saw some mechs earlier, and our friend the rifleman... It's not gonna live, I guess. Uh-huh. Look at that, her harasser. Shadowhawk. Shadowhawk. I see a cicada running around. Mm, I didn't hit the scorpion. On radar. Let's go with that. Alright. Was trying to chain fire my way through it, but it didn't work. Cicada. Hmm. Come over here. I want to see if I can save Private Irby, okay? Maybe it's possible, maybe not. There's the harasser. Ah, Cicada, stay here. Actually, I need to go over here if I want to save Irby. I need to attract fire. Run, Irby, run! And I think I'm gonna go with night vision to see better. Yeah, you can take that Cicada if you want. I'm gonna go for the Hawk. Where did the Shadow Hawk go? He must be right here, right around the corner. Am I blind? Am I mistaken? There he is. Alright, let's go. Mm, the heat is actually building up. Oh, uh oh, oh. And that's a shutdown. Okay. Yeah, that hot planet is giving us hell. And we have no big cooling, by the way. So we're running 10 heat sinks that are set in the engine. Nothing extra. Which means that on a hot planet like that, the heat buildup doesn't matter so much. The poor cooling that we have matters. So the amount of heat sinks are not gonna be enough to finish the mission properly. Uh oh, that's a problem. That, that's a real problem. Alright, so we better be efficient with our kills. Let's do it. Oh, there goes the rifleman. I mean, luckily we have some very aggressive stalkers with us. <laughs> All right, he's down. It's a lot of heat buildup. What? What was that weapon convergence? Better? Nah, you'll take him, guys. I need to wait for my alpha strike to be ready again. Oh god, that's like no cooling at all. Uh huh. Uh huh. All right, waifu man. Let me hit you. I hit his leg? That's fine. You can take him. I'm gonna take the carrier that's coming up here. Nope. Never mind. Friends are friends. Enemy mech eliminated. Enemy mech eliminated. Nice work, man. Huh. I wish I had less ammo and more cooling now. 
just two double heat sinks more would have made such a difference. So I cannot really show you the DPS of the build compared to the heavy rifles. Damn it. All right. There is a dropship coming down. In this general area? Oh, behind that thing. All right. Okay. All right, we got that guy. Yeah, you'll take him. I need to really save some heat. I think there was a vehicle back there. Yeah, and everybody is going for it already. So I should not dispatch from my team so much because there's a full lance coming through that uh, through that building here. Oh, Irby! Irby, come here! Don't die! No, don't engage, Irby! Run away! No, he's gonna die! I'm not gonna save him. There goes Private Irby. Oh no. Alright, let's go for the Hunchback. Oh, the rate of fire is so much better. Who would have thought that? So, a Cripple Descent. Go for the Hunchback next. Hide behind the Atlas. Oh god. <laughs> I can only chain fire my way through this. Uh, I'm not happy. I am not happy. Hmm. You know what? This is really based on my AI pilots here, this mission. Alright, we got that guy. Can only chain fire. I should probably figure out the heat buildup of an Alpha Strike. It's actually okay. Interesting. Alright, so the dropship is going down there. Let's go. Uh, that doesn't work. I really want to use that Artie Strike. Mm, okay. You're gonna take that guy. I'm gonna try to Artie Strike those guys that are coming down right here. Let's see if that works. Oh, that's a Cyclops. That is a big Cyclops. Alright, we hit his head a bunch of times, actually. Uh, wow, we hit everything a bunch of times. This weapon convergence is really bad. Wow. Alright, he's down. Charger next? Actually, Warhammer next. Take that side torso off of him. Ah, and this is where we shut down again. Haha. <laughs> hey, but we are powering up quite quickly, so that's okay. Hammer is almost down, chain firing. Let's go. Mm, I want to headshot him, but the Stalker is obstructing my vision completely. Let's go. That was worth it. Now, cool, 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 cool. Because the next wave is coming soon. Actually, it's quite nice having that challenge here. You know, being set under pressure so much, it's good. It really is. Another dropship as well as skirmishers. Oh god, that's a lot at the same time. And some helicopters coming from behind. Alright, dropping it there. So I send my people over to the Victor, hoping that they can take him out quickly. That's a Jenna half down. That's a Jenna full down. And they are lighting up that Victor. It is so good. I love it. Well done, team. I mean, you're getting a lot of damage from the Hawk. But the Victor needs to go now. Oh yeah, the Stalker is getting lit up. So let's light up the Hawk instead. Cannot shoot. I shouldn't. Ah, oh, the heat. No, I should not shoot. I'm gonna save some heat until he comes around again. Nope. Man, buddy, where do you maneuver? Alright, here come the light ones. Yeah, I guess you have it under control. I'm gonna go for the jab. Straight center torso hit. That's good. Oh, we didn't get him. I was going for the kill shot, but that was not enough. He still has armor. 
And the Shadowhawk is still alive. Really? Oh. Um, the Hawk is still alive. They are now going for the Javelin, which is weird. I need to cool. That was a good shot. And now we're gonna take the Hawk. We still have to destroy some enemies after that. Don't you dare exploding now. <laughs> that would be the worst. Status report. You're fine. Yeah, you're not really. But that's the last wave. But where are you aiming at? Over here? Got it. And there are some flyers. Oh yeah. You go for the mechs, I'll take the flyers. Because I think my mech is really suited for that. Got one. Got two. Oh. Nope. Nope. Got three! Very nice! So, two enemies to kill. Forming on the commander. I need you to wait here, by the way. Couldn't thread the needle. Group target acknowledged. Yeah, go for the Warhammer first. He is more... Uh, yeah, he's riskier. He's coming in faster. That's a side torso hit. I'll take it. <laughs> and, and something that is just flying around here. Center. Another one. He stopped moving. Come on, guys. You can take him. If not, I will do it. Target received. Engaging. Alrighty. Atlas on the front. I like it. And then the stalker coming in. It means that our stalkers are somewhat safe. Not getting hit too much, I think. Oh, the low mounts. Can we do it from here? Oh, the wide load! <laughs> Damn it. You got the stalker, come on, you can do it. Last target, guys, last target. Oh, I'm getting hit, interesting. Um, hello, stalker. Come out to play. Okay, my Atlas is going in. Let's go. Let's just do it and then go home. All right, taking a look at ammo consumption. Uh, we should probably go here. Yeah, fine. Um, we still have 90 shots. That means we cannot even take so much ammo out of this. Since we started with, I think, 280. And, and that means that when we are down at 90 now, this is kind of it. Interesting. Interesting. We, we don't have enough ammo to, to take some out to get more heat management in crazy. Mm, he's jumping. Leg him. Ah, oh, come on! That wasn't an overheat! Was just at the brink of it. So the jab is getting lit up as well. Let's chain fire some. Alright. And we go. So, two very hot builds today, guys. Oh god, the stalker. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Two very hot builds, two ballistic builds on the crab. Which one did you like more? The autocannon one or the rifle one? I think, again, as soon as we find more LBXs, we have enough weight to actually cool down a bit more. That's what we need. So, we have a stalker to repair, we have a king crab, and um, yeah, that's the, that's the end of the episode, guys. Um, I will pick some stuff here. It doesn't really matter what we're gonna get. Um, I think maybe it's not interesting to you, but um, I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, don't forget to leave a rating. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.